Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, February 16, 2024. May the God of heaven be with you today and may his peace be on you and may he continue to show you favor. Amen. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 24, reading verse 36 to 51. It says, But of the day and hour know it no man, no, not the angel of heaven, but my Father only. But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord had made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appointed him his portion with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word, a reminder to us that God is a God of time. We do not know when the Lord will come, but he will come. And I know many of us have heard the saying that we have been hearing that he is coming from when we were a little child and now we are grown and we still hear that he is coming. Maybe he is not coming anymore. And so we don't take it serious anymore and we start to live our life how we please. We don't take serving him seriously. We just go to church as a formality or when we feel like and we take him for granted because we believe that he is not real. If God should come right now, many of us will be lost and that's just too sad. Think of how sad it is for you to spend your your life in the church many many years in the church and when the lord come he said that he doesn't know you that's not good and so we must make sure that we are ready don't be fooled the bible say that god is not mocked and he is going to come when the time is right the bible says that a thousand years is like a day in the sight of god so you cannot look at the time and say that God delay is coming. If he delay is coming, then you should come to it as a blessing because that means you have a little more time, not a lot, just a little bit for you to get your house in order and get your life together. And he said in his word that when you look at the times and when you look at what is happening around you, you will know that he is even at the door. So it's not so it's not the time for us to be playing games. It's not the time for us to be joking around. We need to take our soul salvation seriously. The Lord expects us to do so. The Bible says that in the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marry. And when the flood came, the flood came as a surprise to them. Noah preached for 120 years, telling them that, look here, it's going to be a flood. They're going to be water on the earth, but because they have never seen so much water on the earth before, they call Noah a liar, they mock him and they jeer him and they make fun of him until the flood came and destroyed everybody except Noah and his family. And today we are experiencing the very same thing. Everyone 
most people in the world today take God for a joke and they mock Christian they think that Christianity is a waste of time nobody wants to hear anything about God and so we are treated like aliens on this planet but you know in some sense we we we, we shouldn't feel too bad about it because what the, we are just passing through so in a sense we are aliens this is not our home but we must understand that what happened in the antediluvian world in Noah's time that's the same thing that is going to happen again a lot of people are going to be taken off guard because they refuse to believe that God is serious about what he said they don't believe that God is coming back some people even some Christian teach that God is not going to destroy the earth I'm not sure how we come to that conclusion after reading the Bible the Bible said that sin will be destroyed and it will be cast in the lake of fire with Satan and his angel and when sin is destroyed it will not rise a second time so if you and I have sin in our lives when Jesus come what you think is gonna happen to us we will be destroyed and so let us not fool ourselves to think that we are safe outside of Christ we are not for any of us we need to take it very serious how many of us sit up at night waiting for the thief to come do any of us do that anytime a thief break into our house or anybody break into our house it always catch us off guard because what we weren't expecting them to come and of course they would not come if they know that we're sitting up waiting for them to come and so when they come they reap havoc sometimes lives are lost goods are stolen houses broken up because what no preparation was made for to prevent the thief when the thief come and so either person were sleeping or person were not at home and the thief was aware of that and so everybody is caught off guard and it becomes a troublesome time for everybody same way in the last day same day when Jesus come a lot of people will be taken off guard because what we are not being watchful we are not looking for his coming and we think that God coming for those of us who believe that he's gonna come back we believe that it's a million years from now we can't think like that we must think in the now think in the now what if God come right now will I be ready that's what we need to focus on because it doesn't matter if he comes today or tomorrow if you and I aren't ready it makes no difference so it's not so much when he will come there's a guarantee that he will come but that's not the problem the problem will be whether or not you and I are ready when he comes so we need to be watchful and the Bible said that God has not left us in darkness so we shouldn't be operating like the rest of the world who is oblivious to everything the world believe that this world is gonna go on for another billion and trillion years because that's how they think of it because they believe that this world is much older than it is and so they believe that it will go on for a next 20,000 years or whatever time they want to put to it but for those of us who know scripture and believe the word of God we know that it's not gonna be like that Jesus can come anytime now anytime now the harvest is ripe and those who are ready to be plucked for the harvesting will be plucked and those who are are not ready will be left out in the field and be burned you get what I'm saying so friends let us be ready let us make ourselves ready let us not play games with our soul salvation and keep in mind that is not everybody that say Lord Lord will make it to heaven and it's not because God do, don't want to save everybody because the Bible said that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so that's why he came to save the world but the world is not interested in him and so because many persons are not interested in being saved or don't want anything to do with God God has no choice but to destroy them because what they have sin in their life and he's coming back to destroy sin 
So in a sense, it's not God destroying them, they are destroying themselves. Just like if you pour cursing oil on a piece of paper and you light a fire and throw it on the ground beside the paper or on the paper. What do you think going to happen? It's going to ignite the paper and burn the paper because what? The paper have the oil in it or a piece of wood. It's going to burn it. Maybe a, a paper is not the pr proper illustration. But let's use a piece of wood. If you strike a matches and put it on a wood, it will not catch like that because what? The, it is difficult for the wood to catch just so. But if you pour the gas or the cursing oil on the wood and throw the matches on it, it's going to catch fire because what? It has the oil in it and that's what is drawing the flames. So if I have sin in my life, when God come, my sin is going to draw to the flame. And so I am going to be destroyed because what? I am attached to the sin. And so let us be ready. Let us be ready and stay ready, friends. Right? Let us not be like that slothful servant who when his Lord come, find him drunk, uh, drinking with the drunkard because he think that his Lord is not coming right now and he start to destroy his fellow servant and going on with all kind of madness. Let us not be like that servant. Let us do what we need to do. Let us be busy for the Lord. Let us keep our eyes on the prize. Let us look to God who is the author and finisher of our faith. And when he comes, we will receive our just reward. We will be able to go home with him when he returns again. So God bless you and may God continue to keep you as you remain faithful. Amen.